Ian Black. I'm an environmental educator at the Cahaba River Society. And this is an Asiatic freshwater clam. The scientific name is Corbicula fluminium. It comes from rivers and lakes in Southeast Asian countries like China, Japan, and Korea. But we're in Birmingham, Alabama, so what's a Southeast Asian clam doing here? Well, this is what's known as an invasive species. An invasive species is any plant or animal that is currently living in a location it's not native to. So how did they get here? Well, we think they came over in about the 1920s on ships bound from Southeast Asia to the western coast of the United States. Once they got here, they found a beautiful, pristine environment with clear fresh water and no natural predators. Here they can flourish and reproduce and spread to every river in the United States. And they're everywhere. So what separates these mussels from the native ones living here in the river already? Well, for one thing, these are what are called hermaphrodites. What does that mean? Most animals are either male or female, and you need both in order to make babies. But these don't. These are male and female at the same time, and this one muscle can make babies all on its own. And it can do that really fast. One muscle can make thousands and thousands of babies every year and can fill a river before you even know it. What's more, those babies are special. Most native mussels, the babies have to latch on to fish or invertebrates living in the river and go for a ride. But these can swim. You don't think of mussels as being able to swim, but these can. They shoot their babies out into the water and the babies swim upstream or downstream or wherever they want. They land in the sand, they grow up, and then they make more babies, eventually filling a river. So what problems do these mussels cause? Well, they cause a bunch. For one, they crowd out local species. They're not predators, they don't go around eating other mussels, but they do compete with them. They are so good at filtering out food and using up oxygen in the water that other mussels who are slower, grow slower, live longer, but don't reproduce as fast, can't keep up. They cause a problem for humans as well. The babies, since they can swim, like to swim up intake pipes for companies and businesses that, that use the river water. Things like the water filtration plant here in Birmingham sucks up the water from the Cahaba and filters it. These like to live in those pipes. They swim in there, grow up, and make more babies, eventually filling the pipe. This costs a lot of money. Every year, the United States spends over a billion dollars fixing and repairing issues that these mussels cause to our businesses and infrastructure. So what can you do to help prevent the spread of invasive species? Well, exotic plants and animals might seem interesting first as pets or in your garden, but ultimately they can cause more harm than good to our local environment. If you have plants in your garden that you no longer want, make sure to dispose of them properly. Contact your local extension services to figure out how to deal with them. It's important for each one of us to do our part to protect our environment. Thank you.